Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to my film and TV channel. And we have a film review today, a little drama, and I nice sort of coming of age, sort of teenage angst sort of drama with a bit, a bit of an edge to it. It's quite unusual. If you'll probably understand that by the title as well. It's actually based on a novel by Evan Roscos of the same name. Today we're going to look at a film called Dr. Bird's Advice for Sad Poets. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications uh, if you want to be made aware when these vlogs are coming out. We've just gone over 600 subscribers now, so uh, growing nicely. So if you've not subscribed, please do so. If you know anyone who might be interested, please point them in my direction as well. Do TV drama reviews and quizzes and lots of different things on this channel. And you'll also see on the playlist some stuff on my football team as well, Manchester City. So I do city history, city presence, stuff like that. So if you or anyone else you know is, is interested in that, please point them in my direction. I'll be grateful. And we do have some links uh, up on screen now for uh, Facebook and Twitter and my uh, website as well. If you follow or friend me on Facebook and Twitter, I, will, I do check every couple of days and follow and friend everyone back so if you want some some followers or friends on there or you just want to get some more information because I post loads of stuff on there I don't necessarily put on the blog so uh, please follow those links accordingly fantastic right let's have a look at this film shot we've got to birds advice for sad poets yeah it's not there's not much information on it yet it's an hour and 49 minutes um actually run time it's about an hour and 45 46 minutes so not a lot of difference between the total run time um as I said, it's based on the novel. It's it's getting good reviews. The novel. It's it's quite an unusual little novel. And this this actually stars Lucas Jade Zuman, Taylor Russell, Yaya Gosselin, Jason Isaacs, Lisa Edelstein, and some others as well. Um, Mr. Arquette's in there as well. Uh, so there's a few actors that sort of pop into it, and voices of actors that uh, perhaps don't show the faces, etc. Directed by Yaniv Raz. Yeah, not very, but not not a lot of stuff on his uh, on his actual Wikipedia page from Mr. Yaniv Raz. There's not a lot of uh, directorial. There's a couple of short films and a couple of films I've never heard of, so I didn't really get a feel for what his style is, but. Uh, what we get in this film anyway it's uh, in this emotionally charged wild world of 16 year old james whitman this is the guy his hero slim whitman uh, obviously I've, i had heard of the guy but obviously not not really his poetry etc where we see his struggle to overcome anxiety and depression by seeking advice from dr bird yeah it's it's, it's uh, an Im imaginary pigeon therapist of course well uh, bound to be isn't it in the wake of his sister's disappearance yeah so quite a dark, sort of darker subject as well uh internet movie database there's no rotten tomatoes there's a couple of critics reviews on rotten tomatoes not overly fantastic um there's no other no other critics reviews to talk of on metacritics for instance so all we've got is joe you you know the public you and me and 176 people have left scores and reviews and there's about 12 reviews been left on internet movie database and they're all 10 out of 10s so you know me and 10 out of 10s i think there's some link somewhere and uh, nothing nothing's worth 10 out of 10 so to be honest i'm sort of trying to take with a pinch of salt all those 10 out of 10 reviews i've looked at some of the some of the bits of the information what's been written up i've got a couple of quotes here from them but it's scoring 6.1 out of 10 so just just about gets over that watchable rating doesn't it so obviously it's true for everyone reviewing it 10 out of 10, there must be quite a lot of giving it a lot less scores as well. Some of the comments on Internet Movie Database, each character is flawed in their own unique way, giving way to this quirky story of love, coming of age and mental illness. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that, I don't think he needed, needed to put the quirky in, really, did he, there, based on uh, what it's about. Uh, someone else wrote it's a beautiful, dark comedy. It has its moments. It's not really laugh out loud. It made me smile two or three times, to be honest with you. Someone else uh, quite honestly wrote, this movie is kind of boring. Um, there are elements to that I can agree with as well. We've kind of seen this before, a troubled teenager with a lot of toughs. If you think that a depressed teenager in love is interesting, or if you have insomnia, watch this now. Yeah, not very kind, is it? So, yeah, as I said, all the all the sort of written reviews are 10 out of 10. So I don't, didn't want to read gushing gushing review after gushing review because I'm, I'm sort of, as I said, I'm a bit wary of those sort of reviews, especially when they're all coming out with 10 out of 10. So if there'd been a 7 or 8 out of 10, I might have been inclined to believe it, but I don't quite believe 10 out of 10s. 
Uh, so it all feels a little bit planned and organised. Um, we have a simple, I mean it is in itself, at the basis of it all, it's a simple coming of age, first crush and first love drama sort of thing. We've, uh, but it obviously deals with slightly serious, well slightly serious, very serious subject matters covering from physical family violence uh, to mental illness to, to runaways and cults, uh, religious cults, uh, sexual cults, whatever. So even though it is a... <laughs> It is a little bit of a teen thing, obviously it's some very serious subjects covered. It does sort of work most of the time because of the main two characters, they are very very investable. The, the, uh, um, let me just get the names, I can't remember the names of the two actors now. Yeah, uh, Lucas, Lucas Jade uh, Zuman and Taylor Russell play the lead characters in this. It is very, very watchable because of them, there's a good chemistry on, this, on the screen. And it does sort of work most of the time, but when you sort of want these two to progress and move on, etc., etc. But it does, I mean, it does just have to, it does get a little bit monotonous and just a bit silly rather than funny at times. I mean, it just, just get, you know, it just tries too hard, I think, a little bit. Um, I think the likability of the two youngsters is sometimes overwhelmed by the story and, and these attempts to be quirky, as one of the guys said before, it does attempt to be a little bit quirky. I like a quirky film, but it, it, does, it doesn't quite work sometimes. I mean, the first half of the film is quite a good watch, but uh, it all gets a little bogged down and uh, after about halfway through. Uh, and sadly, 106 minutes is what it runs for. I think it's a little bit too long. I think it's a good 20 minutes too long overall and they'd edited a bit out it wasn't you know I say someone said they got bored and fell asleep but as I said I did sort of enjoy the first 45 uh, to 60 minutes and then it all got a bit all got a bit um, carried away with itself and you know, there's, there's odd, odd bits that sort of were okay but uh, it didn't quite have the legs to see out to see out the uh, to see out the the full film um obviously without reading the book i don't know if you've read the book uh, as i say obviously leave a comment if you've read the book and you get to see the film and give me a comparison but uh yeah i'm not quite sure how it would work on in a book but uh obviously it's uh pretty, pretty pretty good reviews on the book so it's done really well but i don't think it's quite achieved the same sort of thing when it's been transferred to film uh, there's enough in it to be of interest. Yeah, as I said, uh, all right. I got a bit, got a bit, did get a bit bored. and did, did get a bit, a bit wear in the last, the last uh, third. Certainly the last third of the film, um, and obviously, but uh, it, it's a shame because if, if it had been an hour and twenty five minutes, I think it would have been far, far better. They'd done some cuts to it. But yeah, I'm certainly not going to give it ten out of ten based on that. It is quirky. If you like a quirky drama, teenagers. Uh, young love, but obviously with a, a quite a serious backdrop to it. Then, uh, yeah, it's it's a bit like the one I can't remember what the film was called now. With um, obviously where he's uh, he had an imaginary friend and it was Hitler. And I can't please forgive me, I can't remember. I didn't. I meant to look it up before I did this vlog, but uh, uh, it sort of goes for that sort of quirkiness, but it's nowhere near, nowhere near as good. Unfortunately, it's it's not sort of. Even on that level, unfortunately. But I will give it. I will give it a watchable mark, and I think that's what Internet Movie Database is giving it at the moment. It's six point one, isn't it? So I'm going to give it a six out of ten because uh, it was okay. I did. Uh, I say I did. It's. Uh, I wouldn't say I wasted an hour and forty six minutes of my life like some people would, or I fell asleep, etc. But uh, it does struggle at times. But it does have its moments, and mainly because of the two lead characters, the pollsters. Yeah. Well, again, unless you like the characters particularly, it's, they're not very overly exciting. Any of the posters I've seen for this, uh, the the main one you've seen up there isn't very exciting. So I'll give the poster a 5.5 .5 out of 10. I think the film's probably a better watch than uh, a look at the than the look at the poster is anyway. So there you go. The film six out of ten. The poster five point five out of ten. Internet Movie Database for the film six point one out of ten. So please, if you get to watch it, let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to do this today. Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So you join me again here on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps you flit across to my Citizen channel, my football channel. Whatever it is, all I ever ask is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.